Hi, so I went to fly in Tiger Copenhagen the other day, actually it's already four days ago and yeah, I filmed there because I'm not sure if it exists in the US or something anyway, I went to Tiger Copenhagen in Italy, northern Italy and yeah, and I think also mostly everywhere in Europe we have this shop which is amazing and every time I step in there, I want to buy every single item that I see, but I can't. So my impulse, my impulsive part, as I call it whatever you want, goes crazy, literally insane. I don't know if it's a BPD thing, being overly obsessed with stuff, or, or if it's just me, my personality. I really don't know. The thing is. I, every time I get overwhelmed, almost like sensory overload, so I decided to film it instead of buying the entire shop. I decided, okay, maybe filming it will feel somewhat close to, somewhat close to actually owning the entire shop. If it makes sense, you know, like you have videos or you have photos of the things, so in a way you you own the video, you own the photos and it's the closest thing I can think of to actually owning things so yeah, I'm talking too much I am deviating from the point and yeah, this video is just gonna be me talking basically just ranting, not really venting, just ranting and rumbling because yeah I'm not doing so well actually not at all I've never been doing worse in my entire life and yeah I hope that this voiceover is good enough considering that I yeah like rock 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 bottom basement of rock bottom but Oh my god, look at all those rainbow stuff. Yeah. Um, the shop is amazing. You can see the little um, director boards, uh, the chalkboards. Now you can't see them anymore, but you could. I got one of those last time I went. Or like one of the latest times I went. I hadn't been to the mall in like nine months. I think at the very beginning of January I had come to this exact mall because not every single mall nearby has the shop in it actually just the bigger malls you know <laughs> and yeah I really wanted to come but I also didn't because I know that I get too overwhelmed every time I go in there I really wanted to go but at the same time I know myself like in the moment and also afterwards it feels awful like so awful so draining it's a very very draining experience i go into a sort of not a sort of i go into a very manic state and so in the moment i have got this burst of energy but it, it's a sort of energy that doesn't feel good like yeah in the moment you are super manic and you are experiencing this huge high but it's not a good high it's not the sort of high that makes you feel actually good it's a sort of high that makes you feel oh my god I'm so out of control please make it stop this is so draining it's draining me so much but I can't stop I can't stop yeah it's a very manic state if to the people who don't experience manic episodes you really can't explain them to people yeah but i should stop ranting and rumbling about my mental state and i should be focusing on what you can see on the screen because that's way more interesting a deck of cards i've recently been watching the chilling chilling adventures of sabrina and yeah i ordered some tarot cards because yeah, tarot cards, you can see them. If you've watched the series, you will understand. Mm -hmm. 
so I had already ordered them when I went here so I didn't buy them here I wanted to buy so many things I went into the shop with one thing in my head say wait one second um, oh, look at, those, at that cute little bag house the thing you could see before was a little bag house and the way Mm -hmm. Oh, cute little bags. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, you can see I am very dissociated. Actually, I've forgotten what I was talking about. Mm, let me think. I'm gonna stop the recording for a sec and think about it. Oh, look at those little, little, little unicorns. Cutie pies. Yeah, I remember. I went into the shop telling myself. The most I can spend is six euros, only on notebooks. Oh and God, I uh, still have like two or three notebooks that I haven't started yet. Bought exactly yeah. in this shop Maybe nine months ago or even before that. But basically, I buy notebooks and stuff like that for me as a bit, a bit of a reward, you know? It's a thing that I really enjoy, but at the same time, it's useful and I feel it in and like it's somewhat productive if you know what I mean it's not just little gadgets that are gonna get lost and that are gonna end up just cluttering my room and being trash which I'm really which is is really compelling like I would uh, I'm immediately drawn to those little things that you can buy and then become garbage I really want to buy all those but I I know that I shouldn't because at the end of the day it's not a good investment and at the end of the day it doesn't really bring anything good in my life apart from the little high that you feel in the moment and maybe right afterwards oh look at all those rainbow stuff they added so many rainbow things they already added uh, like a couple of things that were rainbow but this year they really outdid themselves uh -huh. if you have a tiger copenhagen nearby you i really highly recommend like just going in there just for the rainbow stuff they had i remember the wedding cards that included the lesbian and gay couples i couldn't find them this time and <laughs> i think the team of the current team is science they, they usually have teams like they had a llama team going on years ago i don't know every every maybe three months or something they change the team the current team is science which if you know me you'll know that i love science i am a huge science nerd medicine science anything oh god i it's literally <laughs> such a huge passion of mine it makes me so happy in a good way not in a manic way it makes me genuinely happy in a passionate way which is the kind of happy that i want to be and it's the kind of happy that actually makes you feel good you know the feel good happy <laughs> it's been scientifically proven that oh i don't remember what was written in that card maybe my heart belongs to you <laughs> something corny like that also key the dead cards being cute well if i had a good relationship with my father i would buy that it's really cute for all but it makes me just feel oh i wish i had that oh the mum one also cute <sighs> what was i saying before i went into this tangent as if somebody could answer nobody can answer because nobody's listening to this but i'm gonna stop your recording again because that's what i need to do to reflect on what i'm saying maybe you should have written a script you know ah uh, nah too much effort considering the state i'm in so I went into the shop telling myself I'm only gonna spend six years and I'm not gonna use the thing for at least uh, three more months because I had made a rule that I couldn't spend a single cent. I don't know up until when, but for like 
at least three more months. So even though technically I bought it before that, yeah, it doesn't matter. At the end, I spent 12 euros, which is basically 15 dollars, 10 pounds. It's not that much, but considering that I haven't found a job yet and I am I have done nothing, like I haven't been in school or I haven't been working for the past 14 months which, yeah, I've been unemployed basically for 14 months because I'm a piece of garbage, as usual <laughs> um, Yeah, so being somebody without an income and who's doing nothing, just wasting away and rotting in their mental illness Yeah, ciao what the heck was that? Mm. 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 I ended up buying, I think, one sketchbook that I'm gonna be using for drawings eventually. But I, I, I've had my eyes on, on one of those for quite a long time. The paper was quite thick. Then I bought, I think, two notebooks, maybe one or two and a science oh. notebook actually for notes not just a journal a bullet journal like i, I bought two kind of bullet journals thing is and a notebook a science c notebook that said something like being smart on the left and on the right i think it meant left and right lobes of the brain as if everybody needed an explanation for the joke. Yeah. Look, finger puppets. I'm being. Those are very useful. I'm being. Work with children uh, in the really. I would buy them to be like not thinking. You can you can tell they're not really thinking. Oh yeah, we're saying that. Oh look at those little finger puppets. They're so beautiful. Like if I was still teaching Ooh, in, so if I was still working with kids in a kindergarten or something, I would totally invest on those and just play with them like you can entertain kids with so little and yet it can be amazing i'm not making much sense in the things i'm saying i'm, I'm losing my train of thought like i'm beginning sentences knowing what i want to say and then i just completely forget and my brain becomes all blurry and i forget what i was saying or what i wanted to say I'm exhausted, I am really exhausted, <laughs> so just just bear with me. I'm gonna try to focus, but I'm not really in a state of mind where I'm focusing at all. This section that is showing right now is relatively old, like they don't really update much. Also these rainbow balloons are so beautiful. They, they never, never end. Those rainbow balloons up. They were so beautiful. Yeah, also, can we please, like, just shut out the drinks that I'm wearing? I'm wearing them right now, too. These owl friends, oh, I love them. them. I've had them for so long, but now they are starting to rust away because they are basically super cheap metal. I think it's probably some iron league or something. Whatever. I love them though, I love them. I had a very beautiful black ring that suddenly had a crack in it and I can't find it anymore. I haven't found it like in ages. Uh, also shout out to this beautiful, beautiful, huge pencil of kids. Oh, washi tape this has the month of the year. You know what I'm on it? say little tiny things that I want to buy so badly and then my ad screams you need it you need it you want it so badly buy it now yeah that's the kind of stuff that I want but realistically I don't need it and realistically I would even forget about it soon and it would even become just a sort of waste of space or something that takes up space in my ad space that would just become all cluttered and <laughs> oh also I bought a thing that I really didn't need but it was too full 
one euro and my aunt said, yeah, you need it. And you know I got that um, shiny mm. light box that will be cool YouTube as I have. The one where you can put the letters and you can form sentences and stuff. Yeah, you, you've seen it. I've bought two um, other things, like two sticker things. It's not really sticker. But he had two, not two. I mean, it, yeah, I bought two, but it, they were exactly the same inside, so it's just double. Um, it was a set of little symbols like hearts, and it, it was a summery, a summery thing. Like it all had summer vibes with like fruit and stuff. I mean, I needed it because I have letters both black and colored letters but it didn't have symbols and I really wanted to add like hearts or oh, now I can't even remember which symbols it were it was but it was cute 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 um yeah I, I bought it I really didn't need it I kind of regret it but I also kind of don't because in my head it's still somewhat productive because I can use that box that I box in the back of my videos and it's somewhat of an investment even though it's not but it is but it's not okay, but what also I remember seeing this girl in the shop when okay. like white maybe bleached and a white hair that was all or Rasta, or how do you say that? You know, like the typical hair that is part of black culture. Yeah, so in my head, I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I should think, oh, her hair is kind of cute, or if I should be offended, but like, I have no right to be offended because I'm white. But should I be like, in my head, should I be like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't because you're clearly very, very white. Like, is that cultural appropriation or is that just you appreciating it? I was so conflicted. Yeah, this guy, I didn't know if I should be like, yeah, kind of upset in my head or not. I really was conflicted. People who know more about it, let me know. <laughs> Of course, I wouldn't have said anything because you know me. Oh, I I avoid conflict as much as I can. And plus, he wasn't blatantly or openly appropriating something. But anyway, yeah, let's not get into these sort of discussions. My head I cannot take it right now. I've got a huge headache. Headache. Didn't have it. Rainbow umbrellas for when it rains and you're like, I want to see a rainbow after the rain. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. The gay umbrellas are so beautiful. Also, that bag that says, Stuff me with your stuff. <laughs> that sounds like. That sounds like the name. Of a <laughs> of a homemade of a homemade porn movie, you know, like it does sound like that. Stuff me with your stuff. It sounds like a low budget porn movie made at home. Something. It does. It does. And you can't change my mind. Oh, I meant I meant these little light box. It's shown right now. What does Thomas else ever mean? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and the stickers shown in the back of the packaging, those are the ones that were inside, plus I think 10 more. But it were, I, I wasn't sure if they were gonna, were gonna be assorted and like random and inside or if they all were gonna be the same. But I bought two because I didn't even know if you could only buy one. Maybe they would have said if you could only buy one. Anyway. And I bought two, and inside they were exactly the same, in the same order, so I presumed they were the same. Mm. So those little things, those little time things, how, how are they called in Italian? No, in Italian, Italian, I know how they're called. How are they called in English? I don't know. 
those little things where um, Jasmine from Aladdin was stuck in and almost drowned in a sand thing it's it's called <laughs> in Italian Ooh, I'm getting Dorian oh. Gray vibes Ooh, candy oh, my favorite aisle my favorite aisle is candy I love candy I have a very draining relationship with food like it's completely draining and takes away all of my energy so okay. yeah um, when I see baby mm, like I have a very unhealthy love for anything that has to do with junk food oh my god like it's a completely overwhelming energy taking relationship with it it's not that nice like it, yeah it's the sort of manic thing that i was talking about the sort of thing that uh, you just can't stop you love it so much but you can't stop and you want it to stop because it doesn't feel good it just feels like it's taking away all of your life and it's sucking away all the little energy in you mm, if you know what i mean yeah i was trying also especially around the desk area like the, the register area to just sneakily film because it really you can tell that it was you know sneaky <laughs> oh another thing i bought that i didn't remember and that cost it did cost quite a lot actually it was a a tiny straw of course a usable straw like flexible like those um yeah just one that you can bring around with you a foldable straw thing i saw grok crackle grace from grackle talk about it back in december and i saw it and i bought it even though i i, I knew that i shouldn't have it was actually quite expensive but at the end of the day i thought well i'm gonna bring it around with me so maybe it's something that i'm actually gonna use yes. yeah oh another another person i saw at the shop was a guy that looked so much like ambrose pellman i had a dream about ambrose pellman like three days ago um yeah i'm gonna tell you about my dream because why not i touched something that was bad like something that could kill witches i think and I accidentally touched Prudence with, with it. I think I, I accidentally touched Prudence with my, I think, pinky finger that had touched this thing. So Prudence started being very, very sick. And the only antidote was found inside my finger. Like the poison or something was found inside my finger. And Ambrose kept grabbing my finger and being like, let me chop it off. And he was coming at me with a knife, trying to chop off my finger. And I was like, no, can't you just remove it with like anesthesia or something? And he was like, no, the anesthesia is gonna ruin the effects of the anesthesia is gonna is gonna annihilate the effects of the antidote if if the if we wait any longer, she's gonna die of it, and we will not be able to use it will we'll not be use be able to to extract any antidote from it it was so surreal because i was like oh, oh ambrose you care more about prudence than you care about me yes i had this dream a couple of days after i saw this guy that looked so much like ambrose uh, he was wearing a mask but like the eyes were like ambrose ambrose from oh ambrose is so pretty oh my god ambrose is so cute i can't when it again hard can't take it because yeah ambrose pelman is one of those guys that makes me realize well i'm actually not completely gay and into some guys some guys actually really hard like um just some very rarely but some are okay <laughs> i'm not gonna be talking for much longer because the part that i needed a voiceover is almost over yeah also definitely needed a voiceover because there was some music in the background and you know how youtube is 
I mean, I have maybe 10 active viewers, but if my channel is ever gonna grow, I want to be able to monetize also my past video, my past videos. You get me, you get me, people. Look at all that kind of thing. I wanna, I wanna have it all, but I also shouldn't because I know that I would just binge on it, which is bad because it, it, it doesn't come from um, an healthy mind state. It's a very disordered thing for me. And it brings so much agony and so much mental anguish with it. It's really not good. Oh, there's somebody outside calling my brother, my brother is sleeping on the sofa. Should I wake him? Yeah, but I also wanna continue doing this voiceover. So I'm gonna continue doing this voiceover. If you are still watching right now, please comment something good about your day or something bad about your day. You can vent also. Yeah whatever Ooh, you can feel free to comment something because i want to know if people actually like to listening like to listen to me talking even if i'm just saying random things another super beautiful section of this shop is the mug section they've got so many mugs so many cups and they're actually quite cheap relatively cheap them like I would buy all of them oh my god so beautiful they also had quite a few vegan snacks which I was happy about and surprised too but yeah mostly just uh, yeah pleasantly surprised about those huge cookies oh so amazing and beautiful look at them I would not put them up I would eat them all I sounded like my cat. My cat does when she's mad at somebody. She really does that. She, Martel, Tilly, she does. Okay, I only have two minutes and something left to go. And just to be clear, I will not be listening back to this recording because I know myself too well. And I know I, I will. I, I really should not. Otherwise, I'm gonna hate myself so much, so much more than I already do, obviously. I should be using this two minutes wisely. If nobody told you this today, you are loved. Somebody cares about you. Somebody will care about you. Your life is not done yet. You deserve to be happy and healthy. And if your current situation is terrible I know it doesn't feel like it's ever gonna get better and I know it's exhausting to keep going just in the very remote possibility that things might become better in the future but they will you will find somebody who appreciates you you will learn appreciate yourself you will learn to at least be neutral about yourself maybe you will never love yourself but maybe you will also learn how to be neutral about it which accepting yourself is really better than hating yourself hmm. yeah so this is gonna be over soon in 30 seconds but afterwards I also posted like I, I I put in the video a couple of photos I took and some more videos I took around the mall yeah it's really boring I know but thank you so much for watching if you like this type of content let me know if you have specific content that you like to see let me know because I'm trying to get back on track even though my mental health is shit yeah, yeah. so just please let me know I love you all. Follow me on Instagram and everywhere else. I will put things in my description. Yeah. Bye. Hope your day is gonna be well. Be well. I hope you're gonna be fine. And you're gonna be happy and healthy. And thank you for watching.
that's a very unhealthy relationship with Alaya.